In this module, you're going to learn how to create a Word template from a document you've been using. And once we create the template, I'll show you how to save it to the system for easy access. So first, let me switch over to my document I'm going to create the template from. Here's a document I created that I use over and over to create additional business letters. So instead of pulling up an old document and overwriting the information, I'm going to create a template from it. So the first thing you want to do when you're creating a template is you want to remove any information that doesn't need to be there for your template. So for instance, instead of having today's date and the person I sent this letter to, I'm going to put prompt information in. So for instance here, I'll change this to date, recipient, and I'm going to remove this and just say body of letter. and signature. So at this point I've got it all set up with the prompts that I want. It's on my letterhead so everything's perfect that way. So now what I want to do is show you how to save it as a template to your system. In order to save it as a template we follow the same steps we use for saving a document. So the first thing we need to do is come over to File, go to the Backstage, click Save As. From here we're going to change the type it is to a template type. Now there's a couple different types of templates that you can create. There's a macro enabled template and there's a regular word template. For this example there are no macros in this template so I'm going to just use the word template. I'm going to give it a name. Once I have the name I'm going to click Save. Now before I do that I want you to notice where the documents is pointing. It's pointing to custom office templates because once you save it or once you tell it you're creating a Word template, whether it's macro enabled or not, it's going to automatically put it out there in the templates location so that you can pull it up easily. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So let's go ahead and click Save. And now if we look at the top where our name had been, it now says the name of my template, 2017 Business Letter. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of it, and I'm going to do a new document based on that template. So remember, when you're creating a new document, we're going to come over to File, we'll click New, and it's a template that we set up. Now when you go into Templates, it automatically goes to the Featured Templates, so it's listing all of these. So what I'm going to do is come over and click on Personal, so that I can see my personal templates. Here's the 2017 business letter. So if I double click on it, it'll open it up as a new Word document. I can make my changes to it and save it back to my system and save it wherever I need to. And you can see it's got all my prompts. All I need to do is type in the information to create my new letter. So remember, when you're creating a template off of a document, first thing you want to do is go in and remove any information that you're not reusing in the template. Once you do that, you can go ahead and do the File, Save As, change it to either a macro-enabled or a regular template, add the name of your template, and click the Save button. Remember, it will save it to your custom office templates directory or wherever your templates directory is set up on your system so that you can easily access it. So now if I came over to New, remember I'm going under my Personal, and there's my business template. So it's really easy to set up templates, and it's much easier to use a template instead of always pulling up an old letter or an old document and overwriting the information. This way we're sure we're not going to overwrite a document that we needed to keep on our system and we're always using a consistent form. So for instance if you've got letters, memos, and things like that you do on a regular basis, set up a template so everything remains consistent.